the poem is called. It's called. Well, why are you all looking at me? Because you're in front of us, you stupid so big bat. Because you're. Oh, because you're presenting. <laughs> anyway, this poem is called Jump. That's good taste. It's part. actually just the lyrics to that Van Halen song. There's more than one song called Jump, you know. Is it? <laughs> yeah, actually. That's the, that's the one that just comes into my mind. Once she starts reciting the poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. I might as well jump. Well, goddammit. <laughs> She's Go ahead little, and jump. God damn it, stop. <laughs> She's a little enthused. Her poem has rhythm and rhyme to it. It's Natsuki's trademark style, and it works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. The words feel like they bounce up and down, as if given life to the poem. Natsuki finishes, and everyone applauds. <laughs> Boo! She hops back. <laughs> back to the seat. <laughs> Forgive me, I had to kick Aaron there for a moment. Uh, <laughs> that was not so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. I am actually with Natsuki on this one. <laughs> You better not make me do that again. Yeah, because then Eric's gonna make more jump jokes. <laughs> well... See, even Monica doesn't like your jump joke. <laughs> I'll stop. Do you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people? I mean, doing it in front of the other people would be way easier. I can put it on whatever face I want for other people. But when it's just my friends... Did you become one piece space princess? <laughs> It's just embarrassing. That's a surprise, Natsuki. I think it would be the other way around for me. Well, that's just how it is, so... Well, I guess in that case... You won't have to worry about much about the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming through. It might be hard, but I hope that you all have an idea of Wait what a it's second. like. Wait a second. What was it? Sorry, I just had to double check something. Was it? Just don't worry. It's one of those things where I can't. Okay. God damn it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I hate you, Monica. <laughs> uh. Anyways, it might be hard, but I hope that you all have an idea of what it's like now. Make sure you pick a poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time that you'll be reciting. Jeez. Should probably find some other poem to recite instead. That's fine too. It doesn't have to be your own. I've already pleasantly. S Ugh, what's he I'm already pleasantly surprised that you are putting in all this effort for the club. It makes me feel happy. Yeah, no problem. Okay, everyone. I think it's about time for today. <laughs> I know the festival is coming up, but let's try to write a poem for tomorrow as well. Will do. It's been working out real nicely so far, so I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we'll finish planning tomorrow, and then we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday's the big day. I can't wait. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I just skipped over the text. Well, I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to get the same enthusiasm as Sari and Monica, but I'll do my best to get through it. It fits for the sake of the club and impressing Monica, question mark. Then I'll have to do my best. Ready to go, Sari? Yep. Look at you two, always going home like that. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez, guys. Who makes such a big deal of it? Must be a little nice, though. Well... Uh... How am I supposed to respond to that? <laughs> it's okay, Ike. You don't have to say it. Whatever, let's go already. <clears throat> I walk home with Sari once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But today, Sari is being a little quieter than usual on the way home. Hey, Sari. Sorry, I was spacing out. 
Yeah, well, say you missed your last line. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I did worse. Okay. <laughs> ah, no wonder. Um, I was thinking about something from earlier. I like how we get to... I mean... Sorry, fumbles with her words. So, let's just say that one day, Yuri asked to walk home with you. Huh? What would you do? What kind of question is that? You're kind of putting me on the spot here. <laughs> well... It's your decision. Okay. I mean, if she offered, then I feel like it would be impolite to refuse, right? Uh, um, <laughs> Unless you really don't want me to go with Yuri. Uh, um... Okay, what reaction would you like me to go for first? It doesn't matter. <laughs> All of them are fucked up? No, it's... Um, how do you say? We're not going for a specific ending, so it really doesn't matter. Okay then. <laughs> Alright, walk home with Yuri. Wow, uh, that's fucked up. <laughs> what a dick. <laughs> you walking home with Yuri, huh? <laughs> Why does a thought make my heart pound? But um but um but um I mean given how hard it is for her to socialize, I would feel awkward turning her down, so Isn't she so beautiful and smart? That smile looks fake. <laughs> It has nothing to do with what I just said. Also, she's a cartoon character, so of course it <laughs> You admitted it. Jeez. There's not even any point in speculating something that's never gonna happen. Well, maybe. But I just like to think about it. It's not long before you don't need me anymore, you know? Need you? Sorry. Can't figure out how you're seeing things in your head right now. Sorry. Everyone is different. Nobody in the club is a replacement for you. Hmm. If you say so. Conversation trails off and I'm left leaving awkward. But it was kind of her fault for trapping me with such a weird question. You can't just lie to her. But if there's something that makes her happy, I would hate to take that away from her. That's why I said there's no point in speculating. And again, the festival is only a few days away. Who knows what might happen at that time? Uh, so, writing another poem. Mind if I just rush through this? Sure, go ahead. Okay. Oh, it's cute. cute. Uh, was it color? No, it was skirt. Charm. Wasn't charming. God, doing all this for memory sucks. <laughs> uh, I didn't see. Okay, that's. That was, yeah, it's lagging, so. It looked like Sauri was jumping. I regret throwing your boob plate. <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing. Is it harder to, like, roll around the mouse or. Nah, it's hard to go side to side. Oh. Um, God, like, I'm not getting a lot of the ones I've been looking for. <laughs> I know this one's one. This one's another one. Pretty much anything having to do with food. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Um, then you, I think party's not one, actually. Mm. See? I feel like the one with food most likely applied to Sayori because she loves it so much. I mean, a lot of this stuff I'm saying makes up later, maybe? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> it's just hard. No, it's mess. <laughs> Doki, Doki! <laughs> Why is this so hard? So we're trying to go for Natsuki? Uh, I feel bad. Because <laughs> <laughs> like I completely shit talked Natsuki the last time I was here. <laughs> oh yeah, Sox is one. I don't know why Sox is one, but Sox is one. 
Okay. Uh, jump. You already know why jump small. Okay. Vanilla. Uh, is flying one? I don't think flying one. Sugar is for sure though. Mm. Oh man. I'm the last one here again. Don't worry, I just walked in too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking up piano? Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival, too. Ah, I can't wait for the festival! It's gonna be great! Ah, weren't you complaining about it just yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival. But the whole day of school where we get to go play and eat all this kind of delicious food. Sound a bit like sorry all of a sudden. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Monica, do you usually have fried squid? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Are you saying you don't like squid? You of all people. Huh? I didn't say I don't like it. Ika, Ika, Ika. Okay. <laughs> Is that Japanese for something? Yeah. Okay. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Because. It's right. Oh, okay. So <laughs> it's right in your name. I got to look smart. <laughs> <laughs> Mon Ika. Uh, that's not how you say my name at all. Not Suki. <laughs> <laughs> also, that joke makes no sense in translation. Uh... Ah, never mind. Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? <laughs> fine, fine, Fine. Your rea- oh, oh, wow. Okay. Your reaction aren't as fun as Yuri's or Sayori's anyways. Monica's spreading to all your voices. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Where is Sayori anyways? Oh, there you are! Sayori is sitting at a desk in the corner of the room looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, Sayori. I wave my hand in front of her face. Huh? You're spacing out again. Uh... <laughs> sorry. Don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone else. Huh? Is everything alright? Uh, of course. What wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? Sorry shows me a big smile. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Well, alright. If you say so. I'll regularly glance at Sayori before turning back towards everyone else. But the conversation has already dispersed with everyone back at their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she noticed anything about Sayori recently. Since they've been prepared for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approach Monica who is shuffling through some papers at her desk. Ike, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you noticed anything up with Sari recently? Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading into it a little too much, but she seems a little bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say I even noticed anything about her. Monica peers across the room at Sari, who's idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. Maybe there is something on her mind. 
but I'm surprised I'm not the only one asking you, Ike. I want to read that one again. <laughs> but I'm surprised I'm not the only asking you. <laughs> There's no only. <laughs> uh, but I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Ike. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Maybe there was. No, there was no one. Okay. Yeah, but she's never really liked us. She's always talked to me about things that bothered her. But this time when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you need anything. So I'll drop it now. No, no. It's important to me too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And I also care about the well-being of my club members, you know? Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Are you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she just had a hard time bringing it up to the person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Ike. Me? How on earth could you come to that conclusion? Well, I probably shouldn't be saying too much, but... Sayori talks to you about you more than anything else, you know? Eh? She's been so much happier ever since you joined this club. It's like an extra light on tur was turned on inside of her. What? No way. Sayori's always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now than it always has been. <laughs> You're so funny, Ike. Have you thought that maybe you've always seen her so cheerful? Because that's just how she is when she's around you. Ah, I said too much. I'm sorry, what do I know anyway? I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so you should just forget about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it from now on. Ah, alright. Monica smiles meaningfully. I know she said to forget about it, but I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room to where Sari is sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Sari and gently talk to her, but she's keeping her voice quiet. So quiet that I can't hear her from here. I sigh and sit myself down. I know Sari told me not to worry about her, to have fun with everyone else, but that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her that I'm letting her weigh me down this much? feels like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary. But there's nothing I could do besides wait for Monica. Why does it feel like I'm being watched? I glance around the room. Suddenly I notice Yuri peering at me from over her book. But she looks away just as quickly with a flustered look on her face. I realize that she won't get anywhere like this. I've never really seen Yuri approach anyone or start a conversation on her own accord. So I have no choice but to approach her myself. But now it's a little easier for me to do that. Stand up from my desk and sit in the one next to her up. I didn't really mean to bother you or anything. Relax, you didn't even do anything. But I could tell that you wanted to be alone with your thoughts. Alone with my thoughts? How were you able to tell that I was thinking like that? Well, it's something that I do a lot. So it wasn't hard for me to spot based off your posure and expression. Not, not that I was staring or anything. <laughs> I didn't want to do anything creepy like that. In any case, I guess you're right. I'm sorry if I caused you any concern. Don't apologize. Your troubles are only the concern of those who willingly share in that concern. Of course, there are certainly those who find the most comfort in keeping to themselves, but if you would prefer to share what's on your mind, then I would be glad to listen. It's really not that big of a deal. I'm just feeling a bit uneasy about Sari. 
Sorry? Yeah, she seems a little off today. But when I asked her about it, she didn't want to admit it to me. So I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. Oh. That's quite romantic. Yeah? So, sorry. I didn't mean to say something stupid. It's not that. I just didn't want you to misunderstand. Sorry and I have been friends for a long time, that's all. Ah, I see. Then perhaps it's unusual for her to be dismissive of you about her feelings. Or maybe I'm just reading a little too into it too much. Hi, YouTube! <laughs> <laughs> well, we're just trying to play your Xbox. Oh. We, we, we're wondering if we can browse your games. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Am I in here? No, it's in that room. Oh, really? Where are they? Yeah, it's what? right there. Yeah, that's mine. Oh, yeah, that's the second Oh, uh, no, I don't. Uh, no, the rest of the game should be in the drawer somewhere, like in the DVD drawer. Yeah, there's only one controller. Oh, that was interesting. They thought that through. Alright, <laughs> uh, 113. Alright, continue. Dear YouTube, somebody has addressed you guys. They have been deleted. <laughs> okay, continuing. Is it locked? Uh, shit, it's not locked. <laughs> uh, right, okay. Ike! The world is full of meaning, often hidden deep beneath plain sight. There are many untold mysteries behind every person, no matter how well you may know them. Ah! So you think there might be something behind it all? I think that Surya is a very complex person. Her mannerisms on the outside don't always match what may be going on inside her head. And she may not always show... Blah. And she may not always know what she wants. I noticed her strange behavior today, too. And I also feel some concern for her. But in your case, it looked like she was fully occupying your thoughts, wasn't she? Well, I guess that was the case. Sorry. She really means a lot to you, doesn't she? Uh, I guess. But you don't need to put it that way. We're just good friends, that's all. Yuri suddenly looks deeply into my eyes. Her expression is gentle and curious, as if she was searching for something. Embarrassed, I avert my glaze. Glaze? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> It's a donut, okay? My <laughs> eyes are donuts. <laughs> um, I mean, I can't tell. She's closing them. Sometimes, a person's mystery are untold even to themselves. And you, as someone honest and caring, may uncover feelings that you weren't aware of were in you. That, that is... I think that... She would be a very fortunate person to have you feel that way about her. Yuri, you're giving me too much credit. I'm a pretty simple guy. So I think I'm pretty good at understanding my own feelings. I'm not nearly as sophisticated as you. Ah, uh, uh, that's not a compliment, is it? It is what it is. Anyways, as long as we're here, why don't we do some reading? the other person. <laughs> okay, as long as you're okay with it. Yeah. I should be taking my mind off this whole thing anyways. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, everyone. Wow. That took a while. After some time passes, Monica calls out to the classroom. Why don't we share our poems now? Before I know it, everything's back to normal. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems, and I do the same. I make eye contact with Monica, and she smiles at me. I wonder what she was talking about with Sari. So why don't we go talk to her first? Alright. <laughs> I feel like that might make her feel happier, I dot, guess. Dot, dot. Hmm. It's nice, I Wait, guess. Why are you voicing Sari? 
<laughs> I wasn't thinking, okay? <laughs> Come on, I can already tell that you don't like it. Well, you don't need to worry about what I think. After all, you wrote this for someone else, didn't you? Probably not, Ski. Eh? I, I didn't write this for anyone specifically. Maybe. That's not really what I meant, though. But it's okay. You're making new friends, just like I was hoping. It makes me really happy. And you're happy too, right? In this club? Bottle oh. full of bub, oh my god. Okay. <laughs> okay, Fitty. <laughs> Fuck Fitty. <laughs> um, of course I am. Good. That's all that matters to me. Thank you, Ike. Sorry. Is there something wrong? Huh? No, nothing. I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> that is a nervous laughter face. <laughs> <laughs> if ever I saw one, am I right? Yeah. All right. Just tell me if you need anything. I will. Don't worry about me, okay? Wow, I'm sounding more like... You're becoming Monica, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it started from the laugh, trust me. <laughs> uh, you can go play with everyone else now. If you... If if you insist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going home a little bit early today. But you didn't share your poem. Sorry? Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Sorry? Before I can say anything else, Sorry cheerfully walks out of the classroom humming to herself. Well, that was quick. That's actually the reason why I went to her. Because <laughs> here's the thing. That kind of pops up a couple times. <laughs> if, like, it flips things around. Uh. FaceTime. <laughs>